I'm Susie Hart from Susie's Studio, and this is Emily Randall, a salsa instructor here. We're going to talk about knees today. I'm going to talk about a muscle here. It's called your VMO. Now, mm -hmm. if you can see this on this tape, there's uh, two muscle groups at the top of your knees, one on the outside and one on the inside. Now, it's this inside muscle group that's really critical about making sure that our kneecap tracks straight up and down. Mm -hmm. And uh, a doctor, an orthopedist for uh, San Francisco Ballet uh, and the Giants, uh, Dr. Garrick, says that this, by strengthening this muscle group, you could prevent 95% uh, of knee injuries. Wow. So it's a very key muscle group. And on me, it's quite pronounced because I had so many knee problems and then I started developing it and basically now have... She has super knees. And now I have I super knees. <laughs> yeah. So um, you put your fingers right here and you try to clench or try to put your, uh, straighten your knee as much as possible. You'll feel that this little muscle tenses up. Can you feel that? Yeah. Just like above your kneecap. Above your kneecap. So it's not, it's, it's really the last moments that you're straightening your knee. Not just like when you straighten it from here to here, but no, at the very yeah, yeah. end. It's like your kneecap has to kind of move up. And that's, that's right, it moves up. And what, we were, what we're wanting to do is, especially since we're women, we have uh, wider hips than men, and there's a tendency for these muscles to get tight and for the, to pull the knee uh, cap a little bit this way. So we want to make sure this one is quite uh, strong so that it pulls and balances out this bigger muscle on the left. Mm. So, so the first exercise you can do is just purely um, trying to squeeze that muscle. Mm. You just hold it for five seconds and then let go mm. for five. Then hold. Okay. But if you're sitting at a table or just waiting around someplace at a restaurant, you know, just underneath the table you can do that exercise where you just squeeze for five, let go for five, squeeze for five, let go for five on this muscle. And you do that maybe uh, five times, mm -hmm. then it starts getting fatigued, yeah. you can do it a few, few hours later. So this exercise you can do even if your knee, knees are bothering you just a little bit. Well, I mean, unless your doctor says no. <laughs> but generally that doesn't hurt, mm. um, uh, regardless of your level of knee strength. If okay. anything hurts, you don't want to be doing it. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so you're, th this, after maybe a week of doing this, then you can start to build up to our step ups, which will then be sort of the core of what takes care of your knees over the years. Mm. And when you start out with your step ups, uh, you will start with maybe a small book. I don't have a book here, but I just have this little, this little platform. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do for our step up exercise is we're going to find a wall. I'm going to put my foot up on the step or the book. It could start with a very small, uh, small book. I want to make sure that my hips are totally level. Mm. So I don't want them to be like this. You know, I want them to be totally level. Relax my hips. I'm going to put one hand against a wall here, and now I'm going to go up onto the step. Mm. And then I'm going to go slowly down. Now there'll be a tendency for you to go like this. Yeah. Right? And this yeah. isn't what you're wanting to do with your hips. You really want them to be square, and then go straight up and straight down. And what, what you're doing is since it's at a little bit of a diagonal, you're making this muscle work mm. on that lifting. So, Can I try it? Yeah. so make sure your hips are level, uh-huh, good, up slowly and down slowly, nice. And I'm just really checking that her hips are level. And yeah, you can, feel tendency to... you can feel that tendency. And what she's doing right now is kind of putting her hand on her hip, which is a good way to kind of judge whether they're moving or not. Yeah. Now, are you feel, able to feel that that's yeah, working a that's little bit? exactly where I feel. Good. The strength is coming from. Good. And just to make sure, you don't want your knee to like go way out. That's right, right that's right. Okay. I mean, if you're gonna default any direction, you'd rather have the step a little bit ahead of you. But really, right next to you is fine. You're basically wanting these muscles to be working. Cool. You never, ever, ever wanna feel any pain anywhere, actually, especially not over your kneecap. Mm. But you, but I, I don't think that hurt you. You haven't no. done that exercise no, before, that was right? Great. Yeah. We did 20 on this side, 20 on that side, so we're going to do three sets of 20. And uh, so that's that's our step up exercise. Great. Great. So we talked about the importance of strengthening this muscle because this small muscle keeps 
her kneecap in line. Now the other part is that they have a very large muscle on the other side that very easily pulls our knee uh, to the left or to the outside. So what we want to do is make sure that this long muscle that goes all the way up through our hip flexor stays nice long, and long and stretched. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just find maybe a chair or something. I'm going to stretch forward. Now I want to feel, look on this side. I want to feel that I'm stretching this muscle here. So it's this little muscle um, in front of my hip, but actually I'm wanting to stretch this entire muscle so I can lean forward. Now I like to do it against a chair or even against a wall like this, because this way I don't put any pressure on my knee. Um, you know, traditionally people will do a runner stretch down here like this. Um, that's okay, but this takes away any chance of having any pressure on this front knee. Mm -hmm. And I can really focus on leaning in. And as I lean in, I still want to keep this back nice and long, but I'm just leaning into this hip flexor. Can I try? You can try, yeah. Good, so now where she's going to feel it is right here. Yeah, definitely. You feel it here? Yeah. And you might feel it all along here. Yeah. And so that's really wow. good. You want to do that for about 20 seconds on this side, then maybe 20 seconds on the other. And I do like three sets on each side for 20 seconds. Is there anything that you shouldn't do, like with your back or something? Yeah, so this? basically you want to make sure that this is long, so you might need to support your abs a little bit here. Yeah. So that you make sure you don't you don't like, like the that. Yeah, you don't right. want to be stretching your lower back. Okay. You want it purely here so you can you can kind of keep this long. Mm -hmm. And straight up and, and down. And then when I even tilting my pelvis that way, it felt much more of a stretch. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. That's right. If I go like this, and I don't have much of a stretch, but yeah. I, I can even push into this hip mm -hmm. flexor yeah. and get more of a stretch. Um, and if you want to get even more of a stretch, you can actually squeeze your glute muscles, your butt right there in the back. Yeah. And that will even wow. pull this more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, um, and definitely stretch out afterwards, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's a very good exercise to do, and you can do it throughout the day, like even if you're reading something, just put one leg up, or mm -hmm. watching TV, or, uh, yeah, like more often. I definitely often. do that. Oh, good, good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or particularly if you've been sitting for a long period of yeah. time, that's a good thing to do. I take work, work breaks and go to the bathroom and just do that against the wall in the bathroom. Exactly. That is a good dancer. Yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> Take care of that body. <laughs> and the third thing you want to do is, uh, it, as much as you can do some kind of exercise bike, if you have a stationary bike at home, um, you don't want the recumbent ones that are down low. You want it, a regular one, and you want it to be just comfortable. And uh, as you pedal, you want to think about engaging, again, these VMOs, and then your hamstring, so you're sort of connecting those two up as you go, um, rather than these muscles. So that can kind of help integrate things, and if you do that 20 minutes a day or something, that's great, or whatever you can. So that just really thinking helps. about using that, the, the hamstrings, the hamstrings along with and, yeah, and the VMO as you're going around. Okay. That's yeah. a great thing to do. Okay. If by chance you do ever have a knee inflammation kind of thing, if you've done a lot, um, the best thing to do is to put uh, frozen, like frozen peas are great for putting on your knees because then they, those little pellets that are frozen will actually go in and get the soft tissue. Mm -hmm. And this, if you can put those on immediately afterwards, I used to, since my, my uh, knee um, groove for that kneecap is very narrow, it's very easy for me to deploy my knees. So I used to, before a competition or something, I just always get the, the peas ready. Yeah. <laughs> And you just yeah. put them on right afterwards. And then that cuts away the possibility for that inflammation response. Because what yeah. happens is when it inflames, then it's, it takes longer for it to recover because the next right. day it's still inflamed. Yeah. But if you can stop that from happening right away, mm -hmm. then you can prevent a lot of problems in the future. Like by the next day, I'd be fine dancing as long as I just got those. Uh, yeah. that and arnicare is really good for that too. You just rub some of that natural on the uh -huh. knee and that, that takes down inflammation. Oh, too. excellent. That is our knee series. Thank you very much. Yay.